great year. That's your birthday. What, what day is your birthday? Wednesday? He's looking at you for confirmation. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. All right, everybody have a great week. We're definitely going to have an awesome week. It's Archer's birthday, and he's turning five, so everybody's going to have a great week. We're all going to celebrate, right? Yeah. All right, so today we're going to talk about um, one of the verses, two of the verses that are in Psalm. So Archer, I know you're in the mountains a lot because you go hunting. Like, I, th I know you go. Yeah, so you guys are familiar with the mountains, I know. You are your father's son, so you're always in the mountains with him, right? <laughs> A little bit of that, too. So, has anybody ever been to the Grand Canyon? No. no? How about the breaks? Anybody ever been to the breaks? Past Hill Farm? Looked out? Yeah. Yeah, you been there? Yeah. Yeah, so what's cool about the breaks is it's kind of like the Grand Canyon in a certain way. So, you can go out, and certain spots are actually deeper. But have you ever gone out to an overlook somewhere, and you look across, and you can see mountains all over the place, and then you look down, and the water looks really small, and then sometimes you can see people camping, and they look like little ants, right? Kind of makes us realize how big our, our mountains are. I don't know about you guys, but my parents, they live on a mountain. I grew up in the mountains, so sometimes I forget how big and magical and majestic they are until I'm over an overlook and I look down and see how, how high up we are and how little everything else is. You guys ever feel like that? Yeah, maybe not. He's like, no, I'm not scared of that. <laughs> so when I think about the mountains or I think about hiking or going outdoors, I also think about this when I listen to music. There's a, there's a verse in Psalm 121. You guys have probably heard it. Bruce, you've probably heard this song before, right? I lift my eyes up to the hills. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So when I think about that, I think it's kind of wild that the God who made heaven, right? What are some things we know about heaven? The crosses, yes, yeah. yeah. So the crosses represent our forgiveness and our chance to go to heaven. What about you guys? What are some things we know about heaven? That is, when in doubt, that's a great answer, actually. <laughs> yeah. So what we know about heaven is. Um, go for eternal life, right? That's where we're healed. So people that we know that have gone on to heaven that might be sick, when they go to heaven, they're healed. That's where we'll see all of our loved ones and we'll live forever with Jesus. So the same God that made heaven, that made eternity, also made our mountains, and made our ground, and made our rivers, right? That we get to experience and enjoy. So next time we're outside, we get to, we get to think about that and feel close to God. We can play outside. We can play outside. Did you ever think about when you play outside, you get to feel closer to God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you guys do that makes you feel close to God? When I go on hikes or when I listen to music, that's when I feel close to God. Anything for you guys? Something you like? Yeah. What's wrong with it? So think about that. Next time you're playing outside, even during just playtime, you can think about that and say, whoa. God made all these mountains, and He made the mountains, and He made all this for me also to enjoy. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Does anybody want to pray for us? You want to pray, Archie? You want to? Okay, let's do that. Amen. Thank you so much. I don't know. Are they going to go? Go to your parents. Everybody just go to your parents today. That sounds fun. Yeah. 